Alright, uh, what's up guys, it's Nathan here, and uh, originally what I was going to do here is I was going to do some copper plating, uh, and I was using this thing here to try to make some copper acetate, because this was one of those uh, copper scrubby things, but it turns out this thing itself was actually copper plated, and it's at, you can see it's actually made of steel. So the solution here of copper acetate uh, is actually not copper acetate, it's actually probably iron acetate, you can tell by the color. Uh, copper would be kind of a green blue color, more blue probably. But I'm going to see if I can plate with it anyway, uh, just to see if it'll work. Alright, there's all the solution in there. Set this up here. Put the lid back on it. Alright, here I have a uh, penny. I want to try to plate it. We're just cleaning it off with some uh, rubbing alcohol. Isopropanol. Alright, that should be fairly clean. Clean enough, at least. Alright, now you can see uh, I have the penny connected to the negative wire just with a paper clip there and we have a nail here as our anode uh, all connected to the positive wire of course so let's go ahead and plug in this uh, 12 volt adapter thing in there all right those are just kind of dangling around I guess uh, hang on let me get this set up testing Oh, yep. Alright. Alright, they're in. I don't see... Oh, I see some bubbles forming, I think. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that the camera does not like to focus, but... I don't know, I'll let it sit in there for a minute. Alright, here we are, we're back. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this out. Oh, that looks promising. I don't know if you can tell, it's a different color though. Still some stuff on it. Alright, here it is, you can see it's kind of black. That looks like iron though. Oh, that wasn't in there for very long at all. Let's go ahead and wash it off a bit. Oh, wow. Not even a minute, probably. I don't know if you can see, that's... Probably could have left it in there a bit longer, but... That's actually a really nice coating. Alright, uh, we're back here. Uh, I put this, uh... Oh, oops, this thing fell off. Hang on. Alright, we're going again. Um, as I was saying, uh, I have a different anode here. This is part of a pair of scissors that broke. Uh, it's just a little longer. That way the copper won't dissolve. Stick that back in there. Alright, you can see that's starting to bubble a bit. I'm going to leave that in there for a little while. Alright, here we are. Um, it's probably been in there about a minute. You can see it's bubbling quite a bit. It's actually, let's kind of wash that off in the water here. It's pretty black now. Uh, I'm not sure how well the coat stuck to it. <laughs> Looks like it, I can't rub it off though. So that's promising. Let's go ahead and unplug this. Alright, looks like... Yeah, that's not coming off. Huh. Well, there you go. Iron plating at home. Seems... pretty much about as easy as copper plating, actually. Oh, the flame just fell off there. Alright, this has been in here for a few minutes, probably by 
five minutes. You can see it has a nice thick coating on it. Looks like some little crystally things are starting to form again. I think that happened too when I did the zinc plating. Let's go ahead and kind of wash this off. This thing here. All right. It looks like it is actually slightly attracted to this magnet now. Well, that's interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.